going on everybody welcome to the swing trader channel and ontx had a really good day today 40 million volume today and at its high it was up to 37 percent at one point and it ended up closing at 32 percent today right at 41 cents in the video that i made yesterday i said something was going to happen because it was coming into a squeeze right there and sure enough something did happen the stock ran up 32 percent so I, i'm happy with that but the question is why is the stock running up there's no news nothing so is there any news coming out and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video is what is going on with the stock so we need to make a plan so we're up money right now in the swing trade and there might be news coming on the way so we got to be prepared for the news if it's bad or if it's good so if this is one of your first time watching my videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you get the notifications and like this video and let's get right into ONTX and see what's going on with the stock today I really like how this chart looks for ONTX today. You can see it had a good run up here and then it had a nice pullback and then it stayed right on this little VWAP area right here. Then it just ripped up again, it had a pullback and then it ripped right up to this resistance level right around 43 cents, got rejected, tried it again and then got really rejected from it. Now in after hours, it's just kind of wishy-washy. You can't really trust after hours. There's not a lot of volume going on in after hours but if we go over here and we look at pre-market you see pre-market was pretty crazy it had an up and down so you knew something was kind of cooking in the pot i guess if you want to say and i know a lot of you out there sold for some profit which is really good that's good that you sold for profit but a lot of people were worried about it's going to be a pump and dump because it's happened two times already but what they don't understand is why it did it was because they had an offering that wasn't really a pump and dump because the offering is going to make the stock go down no matter what and each time it had an offering after it went down and the stock actually recovered pretty good. And as of right now, they're not going to be doing an offering for another 90 days. I forget when that news came out when they were talking about that, but I would probably say two and a half months that they're not going to be doing any more offerings. So we're pretty good right now because the past two times the stock ran up good like this, boom, they just had an offering and just wiped out all of your profits. So we don't have to worry about that this time, at least for another two and a half months. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some support levels here. We got one at 40 cents and then we got another one that looks to be right around 37 cents. Come Monday, I'm gonna be looking for the stock to hold these support levels right here. That way it just looks better on the eyes when we got green for support. We got this website up here for any news that's going to be coming out on ONTX. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my description down below. So if any of you want to go on here, you can always keep on refreshing it if any news pops up. Just to give you a heads up though, if any news does pop up, the stock moves very quickly, like in maybe two to three seconds. So you're not going to have much time to do anything anyways, if it's bad or good news. But like I was saying earlier, I think there is going to be some kind of news. I don't know if it's going to be good news or bad news. There's a 50-50 chance that the news might be related to the stock. I don't want to say it. I'm sure you're not going to want to hear what I'm going to say, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just have a gut feeling that it might be news that they're going to do a reverse stock so they can get compliance with the NASDAQ. It could be bad for the stock, but it also might not be that bad because they're going to be having stuff coming out next month about the new cancer drug that they have going on. So even if it does go into a split, you're still gonna have shares as long as the stock doesn't drop any lower than what your average is. I'm hoping that's not what the news is, as all of you are as well, I'm sure. But of course, if we keep on running up on Monday, we don't have to worry about that if the stock gets over a dollar. So that's what we're hoping for, right? That's why most of us get into penny stocks because we wanna get the dollar mark. So the float in the stock used to be very low. I think it was like 1.2 million or something like that. I can't really remember what it was, but they had two offerings done. And now the share flow is about 70 million. And probably after today, I'm sure it's lower than that right now. And they still got the price target for the stock at $13. I'm going to be honest, I was close to selling this stock today, which I'm sure a lot of you were when it started running up. But the thing is, you have to tell yourself, if you have a stock that's running up, go ahead and just let the thing do what it's going to do. And it's going to run. And that's what I did. I took my phone and I put it in my pocket. I said, I'm not going to look at it. Of course it did every hour or so pretty much. But the key for me was controlling my emotions, not to sell. I know it sounds weird, but I basically was angry today. I made myself angry. So that way I wouldn't sell. It's kind of weird, isn't it? All right, guys. So don't forget, I'm going to put that link in the description down below about ONTX. So if there's any news coming out, you can just go ahead and hit refresh, hit refresh, hit refresh. Please try not to break the internet. But like I was saying, if any news does come 
come out, you're not going to have any time to do anything with it anyways because it happens in basically a blink of an eye. Just remember, though, if any news does come out, you're not going to have any time to do anything. It's like a blink of an eye and it just, boom, this stock either goes up or goes down. You don't have any time to do anything. And if you guys are new to my channel and you're one of the 80% that are not subscribed, just go ahead and try me out. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are making money in ONTX on the swing trade, go ahead and hit that like button down below and smash it. And I'm sure by you doing that, the stock's going to run up even higher, maybe even to a dollar. Let's keep making money, everybody.